Hi everyone, welcome back to this vaccine mania. Today we are going to discuss Japanese encephalitis vaccine. Before that, I would like to tell you Unacademy is running an Unacademy learning festival where Unacademy one month plus subscription is only available at rupees 299. So what are you waiting for? The link is in the description box. Just click the link and use code PSM10 and avail this amazing opportunity of getting neat PG plus subscription useful for FMG students also at rupees 299. And this offer is only valid till 16th. It will give you one month of free subscription to get ahead in your preparation, guys. You'll get an access to both live and recorded classes. And you can, uh, you know, you, you will also get a question bank of more than 25,000 questions for your practice. You will also get to attend various neat PGFMG batch courses which are running. So grab this opportunity before it's too late. One month plus subscription only at rupees 299. Use code PSM10 to avail this offer. So let's start with Japanese encephalitis. Like we discussed measles vaccine yesterday. The first question, what is the type of the vaccine? It is available both as live and killed. But guys, the live vaccine hota hai, that is the strain is SA14142. And this strain everybody is used in our NIS. NIS matlab, it's being used in our national immunization schedule. Okay. The live strain SA14142 is being used in our national immunization schedule. So when do we use this vaccine? What is the schedule? Like with measles vaccine, it is used at nine completed months. So the first dose of J is given in the first of Japanese encephalitis one at nine completed months. Thereafter, at 16 to 24 months, we give the second dose, which is Japanese encephalitis two. Now, what is the root of this vaccine? The root is subcutaneous. Both the vaccines which are given at nine completed months, measles, rubella and Japanese are given by subcutaneous root. So the dose is also 0.5 ml. Now, if you remember that measles, rubella, RC, it was given in the right arm. So where is Japanese encephalitis given, guys? This is given in the left arm. Okay, so at nine completed months, measles, rubella, and GI both are given subcutaneously 0.5 ml. Measles, rubella from the letter R is right arm, Japanese encephalitis, left arm. And in case of delayed immunization, guys, J vaccine can be given up to 15 years, which is asked in our exams. Please remember NIS may only the live form SA 1414 2 is being used all right other important points that uh, could be asked from japanese encephalitis vaccine is that uh, uh, is it like being used throughout india so j vaccine j japanese encephalitis is an endemic disease okay so it's used where japanese encephalitis is endemic next important point some important striking features does it follow open bile policy so like i said Japanese encephalitis does not follow open vial policy. Okay, does not follow. Why? Because it is a type of reconstituted vaccine. Since it's a type of reconstituted vaccine, or you can say a freeze dried vaccine, or you could also say a lyophilized vaccine, guys. Okay, so it needs to be used with a diluent. The diluent used for this Japanese encephalitis vaccine is phosphate buffer. And when we mix with the diluents, the vaccine can only be used up to two hours every day. Okay, after like you've mixed with the diluent, it can be used only up to two hours. So it does not follow open while policy. You must know the diluent buffer. Last time in NEET PG, they asked the root and the schedule dose of the vaccine. So remember, it is used subcutaneously 0.5 ml. So thank you so much. I'll come up with another vaccine tomorrow. If you want an, an academy subscription for one month, just at 299, use code PSM10. Thank you so much.